Well, that is certainly a creative way to sweep your problems under the rug instead of solving them. This panel suggests gathering harmful gases from factories and cars in balloons and launching them into space to protect the environment. Well, whoever made this had good intentions, but this doesn't really work the way you want it to. First of all, the amount of gases that are emitted every day by factories and engines is immense. But for the sake of the argument, let's assume we are doing this on a much smaller scale to try it out. Pollution isn't just bad air, it is a cocktail of many gases and tiny particles that would likely slip right through balloon pores. And even if some kind of special balloons could successfully capture pollution, Factories work constantly and the balloons would fill out quickly and would need to be replaced. Even if we could automate this, the amount of materials wasted would be colossal. Not to mention that the exhaust from factories and cars is hot and pressurized. Known balloon technology could not possibly stay intact throughout the process without melting or bursting. Plus, many pollutants are reactive and might damage the balloon before it is even released. And in case you did not know, we cannot control the wind. The panel actually proposes using a spaceship, but let's just ignore that because it is impractical in every way. Atmospheric pressure decreases as we go up, making the gas inside the balloon expand. That will probably cause it to pop long before reaching space. But even if the balloon somehow made it to space, which by the way is a vacuum, the gas inside would expand drastically. If the balloon somehow withstood that, its side facing the sun would get extremely hot, while the other side would be frozen, which would perhaps give us a space kaboom. If the balloon releases pollutants in space, the heavier molecules will be pulled down by Earth's gravity into the atmosphere along with balloon debris, creating additional pollution we can't exactly control or predict its consequences. In the process, some molecules might undergo uncontrolled chemical reaction due to high energy solar radiation, which is a recipe for trouble. And let's not forget about the space junk this would create. Adding to the already concerning amount of broken satellites orbiting Earth, the process of transporting pollutants to space is complex, impractical and would likely create more pollution than it would remove. Moving Pollution from one place to another does not address the root of the issue and fails as a pollution control method. 